And we're back. I discovered that these shrines will restore your energy. See? Just even when you're standing on them, so... If I just spam middle click, I can have fidget fire endlessly. You also can't combine the fire pillar with the normal one. See? Sad. Sad times. I mainly use Fidget to stun lock enemies. Also, is that an endless pit of death? Well, let's find out. Whoa! It wasn't endless or of death. Well, some death. Some death. Some death included. Now, this feels like the way I want to go. So, is there anything actually up there on the platforms? We'll find out. Yeah, there is something. Oh, that's a... Oh. Anything up here? Was it just that there are two ways to go? No? No, that is the way off the screen. Oh, hello. Please don't. Please don't get a hit off. Do I have any keys for this? I have one. Oh, let's just see what's in it. Ooh, a blueprint. Oh, a better ring! At least it's a fancier ring, which means it's better. Oh, I don't have the materials for it. Oh, times 1.2 gold drop. Huh. Guess I need to kill more of those giants. I know what to get that. Oh. It's another. Oh! Well, that went down pretty easily. Those guys probably also poison you because they drop antidotes. Isn't it strange how everything that poisons you in a game also drops the antidote to its poison? You would think that they would want to, you know, not give you antidotes. Also, I was testing in a different save file and poison is actually really bad in this game because it will not leave you alone until either you die or you an antidote. So maybe it's similar to burning, where if I was in tough mode, I'd have that one HP left. Oops. That's not a spider. It only has four legs. Plus two other weird ones. It's like a... I don't know. Some kind of easily killed monster or something. Those, yeah, those spiders only have about as much HP as the rock hounds. Oh. Now you're gonna run away again. Or not. Wait. I wanna question you about why enemies are coming from here. Oh, thanks for giving me that. Let's follow him. Because. You know, we're the hero and we're, we're allowed to stalk people. Anyway. I think I'll... Put maybe an extra point into attack, because right now I'm just barely not killing a rock hound with one combo. So... A bit of extra attack will let me one-shot it. One-shot them. Where am I going? Up. Up and to the right. Although now I'm going to the left. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. There's a shop here, but nothing else I really want. So now I kill them in one hit, which is much nicer. Oh, maybe next I'll go for Fidget. I haven't upgraded her in a long time. You know, I probably should have remembered that it's hard to make them flinch. Although that does, I think I've said this before, but it does mean I, I'm fine on HP. As long as they're not hitting for over half my health, I'm, I think I'm okay on HP. Should I try to go up or should I go down? Let's go down. Try to bring this with me. Oh, you're going to break it, so let's not go that way. Oh. oh, they broke it anyway. Where's that? Where's the wall it goes to? Is it anywhere around here? Is it back this way? Down here, where I didn't go before. Hey, I don't think I've said... Oh. Eh. I don't think I've said this before, but with my ground throw, I've worked out a way that will... Normally, with the final cartwheel, you go backwards. But if I do left, left, right, back, and then right again... I go forwards with it. That might be some kind of weird exploity sort of thing where I'm technically facing backwards. Oh, I messed it up that time. There we go. It doesn't deal any more damage, but it lets you get further into farther into a rank of enemies. Save station. No, I just started randomly slashing at that wall. I didn't actually consciously realize that it was a breakable wall. Oh, a key. Why is there a random gust of wind here? What purpose would this serve? Am I going to get an ability later that lets me fall through wind? Actually, hold on. Hold on a moment. Alright, sorry about that. I'm now actually recording on a completely different day, but never mind that. So, why would they put an air vent here if there's nothing below it? And by they, I mean the game designers. Maybe there's, maybe there's an ability I get later on that allows me to ignore air vents. And when I do a down attack on it, it makes the same puff of dust that you make when you hit the ground. So who knows? I just need to remember to end this episode at around 11 minutes. Although it's not really much of an episode. Yet. Um. Also, I have no purpose of fighting. Oh! I do have reason to fight you guys. To actually get through here. Although XP never hurts. Go away. And also, I'm going to need all the gold. Actually, I bet there is something under that air vent because, as you can see on the mini-map, there's still treasure here, so I'd say that there's probably a chest under that air vent or something. Whoa, that almost attacked me. I want to find the shop of this section. I forgot where it was exactly, but 
There's some, there's some stuff I want to buy. Because it's becoming quite clear to me that the number of chests in the world far outnumbers the number of keys in the world. So, I suspect you're supposed to use a lot of your money in buying keys. Which I don't mind because I've got enough to afford like four keys. So, oh! That's a bit close. Though I'm not gonna spend all my money on keys. Oh, here it is. I still don't know how you got down here, but. So, you have slain the one known as Fuse. Oh boy! Special cutscene! I haven't actually talked to a shop. Well, this kind of shopkeeper. After. Until now. I talked to the one in the village to buy a key, but. Not this guy. I had no choice. He'd lost his minds, murdered many innocents. Yeah, that's the reason I keep sprouting off. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? She's so insensitive. The Moonbloods. They are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. So I cast a spell of eternal darkness to fill my tent. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. Maybe he'll say something new after every boss. Anyway. I also want to... Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Because the materials are pretty cheap, but I have to sell one copy of it to him in order to... Unlock it. Huh? Oh, wait. This is in sell mode. Oh, that's my key. I don't want to sell my key. Huh. I think... Actually, that's a big issue. You see, every shop I've come to before now has had six keys. Then I bought one key from the village shop, and now there are only five. Even though it said shop restock several times. It might be that you can only buy up to six keys from, uh, shops. That's interesting. In which case... Your trans uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In which case, I was going to go open the chest back there that I knew. I knew I missed, but if the shops don't have unlimited keys, I think I'm better off saving my keys for some of the really late game chests. Because right now, the chests don't actually give me much of an upgrade. They give me a little bit of an upgrade, but not a lot. So if keys are going to be a limited resource, I need to really preserve them. Also, it might be easiest just to do this. Although Fidget is kind of under leveled, so that just barely kills them. Anyway, how do I get up there? Oh. Ask and you shall receive. It's down here, though. A monster's gonna rain down from the heavens. Yeah, they are. Something I figured out which really helped me when I was doing my initial hardcore run was that if you dash backwards, you can then immediately chain that into a uh, melee combo, which is really useful for when an enemy gets behind you. Also, is that stomping one of these guys? Oh, but he's not facing me. I wonder if I can actually attack him. Kill, 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 murder. That dealt no damage. Oops. I accidentally pressed H. I want to press F. Does this do anything? Hey, that deals damage. I can cheese this. Cheese mode enabled. Oh, no, it stopped dealing damage. Well, I gotta counter him. Oh, that was not. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Still makes me nervous every time. I have to counter something. Because if you don't counter them, they kill you. And then you're sad. Because it wastes 8,000 gold. And some vine walls randomly deep down in 
caverns of doom. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The rising spaz might be useful for something. I'm gonna check each one of those vine walls and make sure there's not... Oh, hey, you can go do just fine. Maybe the developers missed out on this one. Maybe. Hey, no, keep following me. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, mouth thing. Come on. Up here. Can you make it up here? Yeah. No, 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 no. Welcome to the Weird Tooth Monster Wrangling Podcast. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to get them up here. Wait. Whoa! I knew something was up because I homed in on an enemy even when I didn't think there was one. Okay. Let me jump a little. Sheesh. This is why I don't play horror games. I see that was dashing behind in order to kill an enemy up behind me. Come on. Although I'm gonna need to kill that giant again. And hopefully not die. Oh wait. I really should not have this set there. Because I don't want to use my poison antidotes. That Try to heal myself. Come on. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa! I thought that was a an attack animation. There we go. Oh, I got one of the crafting materials I need for the ring. That's nice. All right, come on, go on, you guys. All right, yeah, one of you's left. Come on up here. Come on. I know you wanna. Come on. Oh, can you not make it up here? Oh, you'll do just fine, though. Oh. Hmm. I'm so close. Let me go down, back down here and kill off one... There we go. That was the only one left. Come on. Maybe you can make it up when there are none of your friends around. I'm going to make this. I hope. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Up you come. No? You can't make it? Hmm. You know what? I'm kind of, kind of coming close to time, so... I know Piano's been wanting to do this again, but we'll do a callback to episode 3. Game sequence breaking montage activate! I'm gonna have to kill that giant a lot of times. A lot. I'll try again, and again, and again. Ugh. That just doesn't give me the height I need. I need to actually knock one into the air. Maybe I can get one when it's jumping up. Yes! Yes! I made it! Ugh. It happened again. There's nothing for me to home in on. It happened again. Although the requirement for four starring this one is lower than the other one. Oh, that was an exercise in futility. On the plus side, I get to level up Fidget. And I also got enough of the giant's thumbs to uh, craft this Ring of the Miner. So now I have way more gold and money and that means I'll get way more health so it's basically like HP regen right 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 kinda 
No. Yeah, it's not like HP regen. 